All right, so I bought some. I tried to get some bagels at this bagel place. I asked for five. It was supposed to be ninety cents per bagel. At least I thought it was. So when I then I had my money and I th- I calculated before I even showed up at this place, ninety cents times four, or no, ninety cents times five, is four dollars and fifty cents. But when I went to this place to order to get to pay, I found out. I looked on the ca- the thing, and it was. Four dollars and seventy five cents. I'm thinking, why? I thought it was ninety. And I asked the employee. I said, I thought it was ninety cents per bagel. And then she's like, Yeah, but you bought five. And I'm like, Uh, okay. What is that supposed to mean? According, you know. So there must maybe there was some tax or something. I don't know. But the thing is that annoyed me is, um, the real thing that annoyed me that I didn't just have extra money just to be able to pay the extra few cents. But what's annoying is that I went in there on multiple occasions. I've been in there so many times, probably bought $500 worth of food from them or whatever, or drinks or whatever I bought. And I've let them keep the change on different occasions too. And it would have added to over 25 cents. So in my opinion, and they and they obviously recognize me. I've been in there so many times. They should, they should have just been like, oh, you can keep, you know, whatever. And if the employee didn't know if it was okay, they could have asked or something or I don't know the manager or whoever was in charge. But I just think it's like to make a big deal about 25 cents when you have someone that that goes in there. I've been in there so many times, okay? Not like once a month talking about like, I. there's been times where I went in there like two times a week or more in the past. Uh, Just like really? But, and then the fact that I let them have the change all the time and then they can't just let me, you know, have the bagel for a little less than, you know, okay, 25 cents off or something. Like, what's the big deal? I mean, like, you know, I understand people say, well, it adds up, it adds up. Yeah, well, what's worse, losing 25 cents or losing uh, someone that might not show up again because of a degrading experience like that? You know, I said, well, I guess you have to take the one of the bagels back or something. And then she did. She took one of the bagels out and put it back. I'm like, uh... It's like wow, you know, for twenty five cents, really, you're gonna you're gonna make a big deal about it. And I, and I understand the person is not in charge that was doing it, but it's like, you know, I think it's just ridiculous that, like, I've been in there that many times, and it's like you would think they could have been like, okay, well, you know, it's fine, whatever. It's like, it's just not $50 or something or $20. It's not like I bought 100 bagels and each bagel was getting 25 cents off or something. It was a total of 25 cents. Okay? It doesn't make any sense to me. It's like... You know, people probably think like, oh, just, you know, pay the extra money. I didn't have any money to pay. I didn't. I only had $4.50. 100, that's it. And even if I had the money somewhere else, whatever, I would have to go walk somewhere to get it and then go back and get the stuff. It's like, so, you know, it's not that I was unwilling to pay the $4.75. I didn't have it, though. And I knew, and if I said, oh, well, can you just keep the bagels here and I'll get the extra money? The last time I said something like that the employee looked at me like uh he either didn't understand what i was saying he either thought i was meant to bring the take the bagels without paying and then pay after which is not what i meant i meant to get the money then pay for the bagels then take the bagels after i pay but it's just uh whatever it was a degrading experience whatever it's into this video